G'day guys, welcome back to another tool shout out. It's Chris from Midlife Carpentry. Let's have a yarn about a tool that gets us on the right level. Let's have a look at this. Let's do kind of Of course, today we're talking about levels. Now, this one probably isn't much good to us guys. I'm a carpenter, uh, a level of this sort probably isn't really much good. Probably great for sparkies who are doing their uh, doing their uh, PowerPoints and stuff maybe. But uh, as, for, uh, as for chippies, if you've got a level like this and you're carrying it around, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, I don't really see a need for it. Anyway, if you do have an idea of what this could be used for in the carpentry game, Please, please, throw it in the uh, throw it in the comments because uh, I have absolutely no clue uh, on this level. So, levels are important. Okay, levels are key in the carpentry game. Okay, something that is very very important and something that you always need to keep in mind whenever you're doing carpentry is your square. Is it plumb? Is it true? Okay, so true plumb or square? All right. Now, as for plumb, plumb is up and down. So that's where your level, your little bubble sits in the middle, or your fish fart, whatever you want to call it, all right? Sits in the middle between the two lines, okay? When it's true, is it level and true? A level is this way, upright. A couple of lines here with your little fish fart. Marry it up, beautiful. And as for square, well, that's kind of a different sort of can of worms. Now that's either you, you do your three, five, three, four, five, or you use an actual proper square and stuff, so yes. You get the idea. Nine times out of ten, most of the times in the real world, if something is true and something is plumb, it should be square. All right, kind of, kind of works that way. Then, if it doesn't, let me know if I've got that wrong. All right, all right. Levels. As a chippy, I think you guys should at least, at least, probably have probably two main levels, um, possibly three. Now, one of which I don't actually have here. Um, I will be purchasing this level very shortly. And that's a two meter stabilla level. So a nice tall level, normally to fit inside your door frames, okay? And helps with your wall studs and all that sort of stuff. So a two meter level, I think is a very, very good investment for any apprentice chippy out there because it'll, it'll help you guys to have your own piece of equipment to help you to plumb up, plumb up walls and, and get door frames ready for, for doors and that sort of stuff. And the fact that you're gonna pull one of those out and use it on site, um, make sure you hang on to it, keep an eye on it, put your name on it because it can go walk about real quick. All right, they are a, they're a good product to have. Apart from that, I've just rolled with a little kit from Stabila. Now, this kit was actually super cheap. So this was like 90 bucks, 100 bucks or something like that. I've got three levels. So you've got your 450, your 600 and your 1200. Fantastic, good starting kit for any chippy out there. Um, be mindful of types, different types of levels and stuff out there. Try and maybe probably try and stick with your Stanleys and your Stabilas because they're they're probably up there for level, and they don't knock out a level if you drop them all the time and stuff like that. So they they every level does does lose level and plumbers up over time, but um, I, I've, in my personal experience, I've found that um, the Stabilas seem to be able to handle a little bit more sort of treatment, a little bit more poor treatment. Um, and last a bit better. Another handy little level that you could have hold of, apart from those other three, is uh, something with a magnet on it. So a metallic level or magnet level, okay? So these are very, very good if you're putting up carports or, or doing uh, steel posts and stuff on decks, etc. Um, or even your stud frames. So the stud frames we've been doing for a lot of the petition walls and stuff that we have been doing, um, the Rondo stuff. It's all metal frame, so it's nice and easy to stick that on the side. You've already put a screw on the bottom. You can plumb up, get to the top screw, and bang that up as well. So it's nice and easy. It's small enough to fit in your nail bag, carry it around quite simply, um, as opposed to trying to have something that you've got to try and hold on to to try and level up. You can actually head down this road and actually stick that on there, on the magnet, way to go. This level, to give you a bit of an idea, I've had this level for quite some time, um, probably close to 10 to 15 odd years. Um, it's still plumb, it's still true, still does its job, and um, I haven't really treated it very well at all. So, yeah, it's it's a credit to it's a credit to Stabilla and the, the products that they create and how they do their do their levels. Okay, they're really sort of bulletproof. So, so hopefully that's got you all on another level. <laughs> uh, 
yeah guys look levels are an important part of uh being in the trade okay so so make sure you try and get them early on because it's only going to help you with your work help you to understand how to use them how to hold them how to store them how to look after them and um yeah you'll start to see a change in, in the way you do things because you'll you'll start to get the whole concept of hang on before i even work on this or before i even start doing anything on this door frame i'm going to double check it's plumb oh no it's out all right let's fix that first before i do anything else or go any further because you don't want to be at the point where you're trying to put a door in to a door frame that's on the piss like it just doesn't work it's not going to be fantastic for you and uh yeah you might be telling pull the arcs back off and all that sort of stuff so yeah right i hope that helps guys build on legends have a cracker of a week or weeks and uh, we'll chat again soon, hey? All the best. See you guys. Bye.